getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Denmark against England. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they're consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Christian Eriksen starts alongside Pierre Emil Hoivier in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Splendid defending. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. John Stones plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Really nice ball. He just needs to stay level-headed there. A decisive clearance it was. Jens Strieger Larsen. Kea has it. Mohamed Darami. Given away by Christian Eriksen. Stones. Rice with it. Jude Bellingham. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Well, the referee remaining very much in control. Now the card, and it's yellow. Trippier. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And crossed in there. Well, no danger now. And Bellingham. Foden, now with Trippier, Rice, very quick thinking there, moving into the advanced position, but nothing comes of it, good defending it was, Trippier, and Bellingham, Keeps going. Foden. And back to Trippier. Trippier. And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to open the scoring here. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And the whistle is set. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not made it look routine, but read it well. Jude Bellingham. A chance to whip it in. Alexander Arnold. And quick thinking defensively.
Really fine play to keep possession. Jens Strieger Larsen. Rivier. And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. And a double substitution it's going to be. They take it short. Angles it back. Schulman. Kerr. And cutting it out. Did well to clear it away. Foden. Now Harry Kane. Walker Kane back with Walker Kane Harry Kane moves infield away from the touchline well didn't go as a plan in the end bodies forward and the break looks on Ericsson can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Bellingham. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. What can he do with it now? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. What a block! Now, oh, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. They couldn't quite muster a real threat. And there it is, the final whistle. Dave.